Hi, welcome to Quilgo. Quilgo is an online assessment platform with automated proctoring designed to be easy to use, reliable, and trustworthy. It is a fantastic tool for educational institutions and businesses that allows hosting online exams, pre-screening job candidates, educating and assessing employees, etc. By the end of this video, you will see how Quilgo works from the start to the end and will be ready to organize and host your first online assessment. I am going to split this video into several parts. Firstly, we'll create an online quiz with Quilgo together. Then, I'll show you how to configure your online assessment, for example, set a duration, or enable automated proctoring. You will also see how to deliver assessment links to your respondents and observe how Quilgo works for them. We will then review how reporting works and cover a few management aspects. Let's start with quiz creation. You can either use our quiz builder or one of our importing tools. For demo purposes, let's use the builder. We will create a simple health and safety quiz. You can choose a layout. The classic version will look more like a form and the focused version renders a single question on a screen at a time. The focused layout is the most popular choice for online quizzes. There are multiple question types you can choose from. Multiple choice, check boxes, drop down, short answer, and paragraph. The first three have automatic grading. The latter two require a review. You can also split your quiz into sections. Now, let's create our first question. I will pick multiple choice as an example. Our first question is, which device is in the picture? Let's attach an image of the device. The score for this question will be 15. Now, I will provide four options and mark the correct one. Let's also shuffle the order of the options for everyone. We can also provide a description and an explanation. The explanation will only be visible after assessment submission in case of a wrong answer. Let's add four more questions to our first section. To discourage unfair behavior, you can enable question order shuffling and more importantly, question randomization. We can tell Quilgo to select several random questions from a section and assign them to respondents. Let's make the quiz randomly pick two questions out of five for each respondent. Next, let's add another section with two open-ended questions. Our quiz is now ready. Let's save it and close the builder. Now we advise you to take a few configuration steps. First of all, let's choose when your assessment must start. You can select a specific date and time or allow to start any time. Then set the duration. It is one hour by default. Next, choose when your assessment must end. You can also select a specific date and time or keep it without a deadline. Next, let's set up the access mode. You can choose the public access mode and allow your respondents to self-register via the quiz group link with their email addresses. You can limit the registrations to a specific domain name, for example, the one of your organization. Also, you can disallow registering with the same email address twice. Alternatively, you can switch to the restricted mode and pre-create individual tests by providing respondents email addresses and names. The next block is optional. You can turn the automated video proctoring on and screen tracking. You can allow overtime and enable automatic response submission. Also, you can show the score to your respondents once they submit their answers. Configuration is complete and we are ready to deliver the assessment to our respondents. There are three main ways to deliver the assessment to our respondents. The first one is the simplest, the quiz group link. You copy and send it to respondents. However, this route might not work if you have to ensure no one else except your group should be able to access the assessment. In this case, you use the restricted mode and pre-create tests. You can deliver pre-created test links in bulk or copy and send each manually. Now let's see how Quilgo works for test takers. If the proctoring is enabled, once they open their assessment link, they might need to provide access to their camera or screen. While taking their tests, Quilgo will record suspicious activity, for example, absence of face or leaving the quiz for other websites or applications. Once a respondent submits their response, you can view their report. The report contains time information, scores, proctoring results, and answers. Text-based answers may require manual review and scoring. You can share the results safely with the respondent. 
You can copy individual results links and send them manually or deliver them in bulk. You can view and export all the responses and view a quiz report. The quiz report includes the score distribution diagram and performance per each question. You can see which questions were the hardest and quickly detect knowledge gaps. Finally, Quilgo allows you to invite as many people to your team as you wish and share quizzes and reports with them. As per your organization's branding, you can specify your colors and upload your company logo so they appear on your welcome and quiz screens. At this point, we covered most of the basics that should help you to get started and successfully host your online assessment with Quilgo. If you need any help or have any questions, let us know. Also, don't hesitate to schedule a call with us. We wish you a fantastic experience and look forward to having you on board.